Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. This video is specific for down theme. If you have any other theme, then you should explore shopwebsitecourse.com and there I have already published all the other codes with different themes. So here the first step is like you should download the code. I have already added the link below in the description. You just need to click on that link and you will be getting a zip file. Just extract it and you will be getting these four files. So firstly, you should open documentation.txt and inside of it, I have already mentioned all the steps which we are going to follow along with this video. So the first step is like go to Shopify dashboard, click on themes, click on edit code, click on snippets. So let's go to the dashboard here. So here you can see that I have installed down theme. You should click on these three dots, click on duplicate. So if you will duplicate the theme, then later on, if you have any problem with the code, so you can re restore it back to its original version. Once you are done, then you should click on edit code. So here you will be finding some folders and files. Click on snippets, then move ahead with the uh, documentation. So the next step is like create new snippet, PayPal dash smart dash buttons. Just copy this name and click on add a new snippet and paste the name and click on done. And it will create a new empty file here. We need to paste the attached code into this new empty file. So here we have this attached code, PayPal with credit card. Just copy this complete code and paste it right here. Then you should click on save the changes. Once you are done, then we have the next step, which is open sections and then open main-card-footer.liquid. So here we have to go to sections, scroll it down. We have main-card-footer.liquid and inside of it, we have to find this div element because we are going to paste this line of code just above this div element. So how we will be finding that div element. So scroll it down and in line number maybe 104, you will be finding that div element. Here you can see just above it, we are going to paste that new line of code, which is this one. So let's paste it. Once you are hovering over it, you will be finding an arrow. So that means this snippet we have included is correct. Then you should click on save the changes. Once done, then move ahead with the fifth step, which is add your live client ID of PayPal in line number eight. So we have this PayPal smart buttons dot liquid. We have line number eight and here I have included the client ID. Actually, I am using sandbox client ID, but you have to use your original live client ID of your PayPal because I'm using for the testing purpose, but uh, you have to accept the actual money. So I have included the video link in the description. That is a one minute video. You should follow it. And I have explained there that how you can find live PayPal client ID and then you should paste it here and make sure that the client ID should be enclosed inside the double quotes. And once you are done, then you can actually change the currency also. I have added USD because I am using US dollars. If you have any other currency, for example, Euro, you can use EUR. If you have any other currency, then you can use the currency code here. Once done, then we have next step, which is go to themes, customize, click on settings, click on cart, and then change cart type to pop up notification or maybe page. So let me show you what exactly I am saying. Again, go to the dashboard of the store and here you will have to click on customize. Click on customize and click on settings, scroll it down and click on cart. Here we have a drop down, which is drawer page pop up notification. So you need to choose page or pop up notification. I am choosing page. Click on save. And then after we have the next step, which is go to assets open card.js and find below line of code, which is this one. So actually we are going to find this line of code inside of card.js. So here we have the code. We have to open assets. We have card.js and using control F or maybe command F, you can find here this line of code, which is highlighted here. Just below it, we are going to paste the new line of code, which is this one. So actually this is a function call which we are doing it from here. Once you are pasting that code, then you should click on save. So that's it. All the steps we already followed. Now it's time to test it. Click on preview store. And here we will be having the home page of the Shopify store. Then you should click on catalog. We have some products, for example, this sweater. Click on blue maybe 
and click on add to cart so it will redirect us to the cart page so i have already added some more products ar earlier so all are reflecting here so the best the important thing is like we need to confirm the price which is coming to these paypal buttons so for example i have total price of 150 us dollars and each single price is different i mean these are the subtotal so let's test it click on paypal button and here we will be having uh, the price actually i have logged in with the, my sandbox account so click here here you can see that one winter sweater to women undershirts and one new t-shirt blue so total is 150 so that means this is working fine so you can see that uh, paypal buttons are appearing here like yellow paypal button and debit or credit card button let's see if i am updating something for example i am uh, removing this thing and let me update the quantity also with one so let's see the price is changing or not so here i have already logged in so you can see that price has been changed to 65 us dollar so one quantity of women undershirt one quantity of new t-shirt so that means uh, everything is updating this is color variant rose this is color variant blue so all the things are perfectly working and if your customer don't uh, have the paypal account they can actually click on debit or credit card to do the payments so below you can see that uh, they will have the card details to enter then you need to put the billing address then need to put the shipping address and then they can do the payment to buy the product one more question is like people are not interested to keep this checkout button here so how you can hide this checkout button actually you should go to the uh, customized dashboard again click on this drop down click on cart and here you should click on this sections you can see that we have checkout button so you need to click on this i icon and then click on save the changes once you are refreshing this page again you will see that we have only paypal buttons but checkout button disappeared if you will see this view in your mobile view so this is how it will look so this is looking beautiful can you see so one more question was like sometimes people are not interested to keep this yellow button so how they can hide this yellow button and only keep debit or credit card button so i have attached one more code which is this one you need to copy this complete code and replace it with uh, this code so let me remove this and paste the new code and then save the changes and let me refresh this page again now you will see that only debit or credit card button is appearing here the yellow button disappeared but sometime we have required so you can actually undo the changes so right now for example i don't have the paypal button and i am interested to keep it so you can undo the changes here i have undone the changes click on save and then maybe refresh the page again you will see that paypal button is back so that means we can customize the things according to our need so that's how you can integrate paypal smart buttons into your shopify store without knowing any kind of coding this is simple and you just need to copy and paste the things that's it so that's how you can do all the stuff by your own thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video